of the ebook developing money-making niche sites with WordPress. In this video I'm going to start talking about themes and how to change them. Currently we're using the default WordPress theme which doesn't look very good, it's not very professional and it's not particularly easy to add AdSense to it. What we want to do here is use one of the many WordPress themes which have been designed especially for AdSense. Now in the ebook version of this I used ProSense which is this one here produced by Dosh Dosh. Now this is a nice theme and it looks pretty good um, but it's not particularly professional so I'm going to show you how to use that one but I'm also going to use this opportunity to plug a friend of mine called Mark Mason. Now he has created a pack of themes which look like this. It's, it's a lot more professional looking. There's a nice little graphic here and there's 12 of them at the moment which I think he's charging $27 for. Um, what he's got at the moment is several um, themes, but themes as in niche themes such as legal, medical, mortgages, credit cards and so forth. Now of course none of these particularly fit well with cigars, but he's, um, he's going to give me a generic theme which is not going to have a graphic, so that can be used for any of those weird niches that you get into. So what I'm going to do first of all is upload one of those to my server. If I can just find where on earth my FTP program is. Here we go. Now I'm not going to show you how to use an FTP program that's beyond the scope of this video but I do have um, something about it in the ebook version. I'm sure you could find tutorials somewhere on YouTube. But What I will do is show you where the files go. Now I'm here in my, uh, my host and this is the directory which is created for me called Cigar Heaven. So it's under public HTML, Cigar Heaven. This may be different if you're not using Bluehost. So what we have is under Cigar Heaven you've got WP Admin, Content and Includes. And the one we want is WP Content and this gives you plugins and themes. We're going to come back to the plugins later. Here are the themes. Now I have already uploaded um, the ones that I want. I've got ProSense Blue here and these NAT ones, these are the niche AdSense themes from Mark which I just mentioned. So that's all I'm going to say about that for the moment and then I'm going to come back to here and show you how to change these. From your dashboard, and by the way you can get to the dashboard at any point by clicking on this dashboard link over here, and come to design. From the design tab you've got several options available here and the first one is the themes option so this should be the page that you see as soon as you click on design. The first thing we see here is a preview of what your current theme looks like or what your website looks like in the current theme and then it shows you the various themes that you've got available. Now I'm going to swap to two different themes to show you what they look like. The first one here is ProSense. This is a completely free theme which is provided by Dosh Dosh and it's the one I used for the ebook version of this. Now WordPress 2.6 has got a new feature which is theme preview which is what we're seeing here. This is an actual demonstration of what the site will look like if we go live with this theme. So I'm going to activate that and then I'm going to click over here and actually visit the website so I can see it in my browser and here we go. Now what ProSense has is we have a large sidebar here with a kind of a scry uh, sorry, skyscraper AdSense block. If you click on the posts, each one has a large AdSense area here and another one down here. You can only have three AdSense blocks on a particular page. So that's ProSense. Now if I pick one of these themes, these are the ones offered by Mark Mason. Um, they're all fairly similar apart from the actual graphic and I'll show you what we've got here. Again, visit the website. Now this is the main page and here I've actually got a WordPress block on the front page, sorry not the WordPress block, an AdSense block and then a skyscraper one here. If I click on the actual post 
Now this is the actual post page, again a large AdSense block here with the sidebar here. Now the big difference between this theme and the ProSense by default is that we don't have all the other areas for the blog. This is a little widget which allows pages but you haven't got the login, the archives and all those sorts of things. Um, if I come back again to ProSense archives, categories, recent entries, blog role, meta stuff. This is all traditional blog type information. Now if you're creating a niche site which is designed to pull in search engine traffic and get money from AdSense then you really don't want all this stuff because it's just clutter. You can get rid of it but then what you have is a sidebar that's looking rather empty. So with this particular theme I think this is better because you've just got a single sidebar here and then you've got your pages menu and that is what we're going to use to fill up the actual content of the site itself, the static pages. You can change this though, you can change this quite easily within WordPress itself but I will save that for the next video.